About two months ago, I released an unboxing and first impressions video from the latest release from Black River. Yes, that's right, the Black River trucks, 3.0s. I purchased the 29mm red trucks to go along with my custom 29mm Berlin wood. After I released the video, there were a ton of great questions from you all. First, were there any noticeable differences between the 3.0s and the 2.0s? I did touch upon this in my first impressions video. However, there were certain elements that I could not answer with, well, certainty. After two months of use, I figured it would be a good time to provide an update. But before we take an updated look at the Black River Truck 3.0s, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We have a ton of reviews in the pipeline, a couple more fingerboard history videos, as well as a huge trick tip compendium for beginners that will be released this upcoming month. On top of that, guys, I have a little surprise for this video. I purchased two more sets of Black River trucks to try out, one wide and one extra wide. I purchased these from Famous Decks because I needed them as soon as possible. Famous is on the west coast of the United States. They ship items super quickly and it arrived within days. Now I did run into a snag. I received two sets of Black River trucks. One was marked extra wide on the box. The other was marked wide on the box, which is what I ordered. However, looking closely, I did notice that the one that was marked wide actually contained a set of extra wide trucks. It seems that there was a mistake made during the fulfillment process from Black River. In this situation, I definitely benefited from it. I need more 34 millimeter trucks and the extra wide costs money, so it saved me some money. So first impressions with these 3.0s, just like last video, man, these are gorgeous trucks. The Black River Truck 2.0s were awesome and beautiful as well, so no surprise here. However, the 3.0 takes it up to a whole nother level. The embossed Black River Skull on the base plate looks so premium. When comparing the 2.0 to the 3.0 side by side, I noticed a couple of differences as well. First, the base plate seems to be slightly thicker on the 3.0. Additionally, when comparing the nuts between the two, the 3.0 nuts actually goes higher than the 2.0 nuts. Both these show that yes, the trucks have been reinforced. Also, I weighed both trucks and there was a 0.15 gram difference between the 2.0 truck and the 3.0 truck. So this would amount to a 0.3 of a gram heavier on the 3.0 setup than a 2.0 setup would be. Now in my video before, I mentioned that I felt like, yes, this deck feels kind of heavier. And it turns out that perception was spot on. Now Black River trucks always had heft to them and always felt solid. And this to me is a strength of the product. When using the 3.0 versus the 2.0, still feels like Black River trucks. So far, I'm really enjoying riding the 3.0s and have yet to have any major issue come across any of the sets that I have. Now I will share how you can get the best experience possible using Black River trucks. First, only use Black River screws and nuts. This is so important. Most issues with base plates are caused by using a third party screw. Also when you're tightening the screws, when you're putting the truck onto the deck, don't screw too hard. Make sure it's secure and flat, but once it gets flat, don't screw any more than that. Lastly, when screwing on nuts, be sure not to over tighten them on the axle. Screw them just enough so your wheel doesn't wiggle and no more. I noticed that the one time I over tightened my trucks, the wheel stuck onto the axle and I had to remove the axle from the hanger to remove this. This was back about a few years ago with the 2.0s. Speaking of axles and hangers, just so you guys know, the axle can move. This is by design. So if your axle kind of slips out of position, you can simply push the axle back into a centered position and tighten the wheels on each side until it doesn't move. This will not affect your ride. And in the worst cases, I've also seen people who remove the axle, apply Loctite to where the burnishing is or some other adhesive, and then resert the axle as well. This will prevent any movement from the axle in the future. So I'm gonna quickly go through the pros and cons. First, there is a reinforced base plate. This is proven when comparing side by side. Same with those strengthened nuts. We can see that in the video as well. We see this beautiful embossed school design. It looks like Black River trucks. It feels ultra premium. And lastly, there supposedly is the reinforced steel axle, but obviously I'm not up opening up my truck or pulling the axle out. When you buy from Black River, remember you're supporting the Pioneer and Pro Fingerboard gear. 
Black River has been giving back to the fingerboard community through event sponsorships, giveaways, and hosting contests since 2000. Now, there are a couple items that could be considered cons for certain fingerboarders. First, it is expensive. You're looking at 70 plus US dollars after shipping and taxes applied. However, one thing to consider is that the longevity of the truck itself. For example, I am still using a set of Black River Truck 1.0s from 12 years ago. Next, the weight. Some find it a bit too heavy. Others, such as myself, actually prefer to have some additional weight versus some of the lighter truck out there. I hope you all enjoyed this review of the Black River Truck 3.0s. If you found this useful, please let me know by leaving a comment, liking this video, and subscribing. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to check out the History of Fingerboarding playlist which features over 5 hours of detailed fingerboard content. As always, thank you so much for watching this video, and may you land a super steezy heel flip right now.